Okay, so this is Solving Word Problems Part 6, and this video is specifically going to look at money problems. So let's take a look at our first problem here. So a bank teller has $805 in her cash drawer. She has one, five, and $20 bills only. She has 17 more $5 bills than $1 bills. She has six fewer $5 bills than $20 bills. How many of each denomination of bill does she have? So I'm just going to start out by just getting a little highlighter action going here. And let's just highlight some of the main points. A bank teller has $805, $805 in her cash drawer. She has one, five, and $20 bills only. And then here she has 17 more $5 bills than $1 bills. She has six fewer $5 bills than $20 bills. And then of course the main question here is how many of each denomination of bill does she have? So let's just write out real quick what we're looking to find. We wanna know how many $1 bills $5 bills and $20 bills. So that's what we're trying to figure out here. So this will be pretty simple once we get going here. We want to let X equal one of the amounts here. Either how many $1 bills she has, how many $5 bills she has, or how many $20 bills she has. When you have a comparison that has three things involved, you usually want to look to see if one of those is involved in both comparisons. And we do have that here, because here we're told that she has 17 more $5 bills than $1 bills, and we're also told that she has six fewer $5 bills than $20 bills. So $5 bills is involved in each comparison. So let's just go ahead and make it easy on ourselves, and we'll let X, equal the number of $5 bills. Then if we go back and read through the problem, we can base everything on that. So it's saying that she has 17 more $5 bills than $1 bills. So however many $5 bills she has, she has 17 fewer $1 bills. So then if X is the number of $5 bills, that means x minus 17 is going to be the number of $1 bills. Okay, and just to reiterate that, again, she has 17 more $5 bills than $1 bills. So just flipping that around, she has, again, 17 fewer $1 bills than $5 bills. Either way you say it's the same thing. Okay, now let's look at the next comparison. It says she has six fewer $5 bills than $20 bills. So I could really say that the amount of 20s that she has is gonna be six more than the number of five she has. So if the number of five she has is X, then six more than that would be X plus six. Okay, so this is gonna be equal to the number of $20 bills. So now we have enough to set up an equation because this key thing here, this $805 in her cash drawer, it tells us the total amount of all the bills combined. So we can base our equation on that. So let's scroll down here and get a little room. So the number of $1 bills that we have is X minus 17. If we multiply that by one, which would be the value of each bill, we're going to get the total amount in dollars that we have in ones. So the total value of all one, one dollar bills. Okay. Now we're just going to go through and add this to the total value for all the fives, the total value for all the twenties, and we can just set that equal to $805 because that's the total value of all the bills combined. So then we'll have plus, we have 
the number of $5 bills, that's x, times the value of each bill, which is 5. Again, this is the total value of all $5 bills. Then plus, how many 20s do we have? We have x plus 6. And then times the value of each bill, which is going to be 20. And again, this is going to be the total value of all $20 bills. Then when we sum these amounts, we're going to get 805. Right? That's what we're told in the problem up here. Again, a bank teller has $805 in her cash drawer. So if we take the total value of all the bills, it's going to equal 805. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve this equation now. And we'll just rewrite it. 1 times x minus 17 is just x minus 17. Then plus 5x. Then plus 20 times x is 20x. Plus 20 times 6, which is 120, equals 805. Okay, so we're going to just combine like terms on the left here. We have x plus 5x plus 20x, that's 26x. Okay, I'm just going to mark these out now because I've used them. Then I have negative 17 plus 120, that's 103. Okay, we're going to subtract 103 from both sides of the equation. That's gone. You'll have 26x equals 702. Now to solve for x, we divide both sides of the equation by 26. And we get x equals 27. And again, we're not done. Yeah, we know x equals 27, but whenever you're solving a word problem, you have to make sense of it. So we go back up here, and we see that x was representing the number of $5 bills. So that means that she has twenty-seven five dollar bills. So then how many ones does she have? Well it's x minus 17. So if x is 27, 27 minus 17 is 10. That means she's gonna have 10 one dollar bills. So she has 10 one dollar bills and then how many 20s we go down here to how many 20s she has it's x plus 6 so it's 27 plus 6 that's 33 so then she also has 33 20 dollar bills okay so that would be the answer now to check it you just verify Again, if we're told in the beginning of the problem that she has $805 in her cash drawer and she only has three different types of bills, she has ones, fives, and twenties, we can go back through and just verify our equation that we set up. Again, if she has 10 ones, so that's 10 times one, plus if she has 27 fives, so that's 27 times five, and then she has 33 twenties, so that's 33 times 20. If we got the correct answer, by setting this up, it should equal 805. 10 times 1 is 10. 27 times 5 is 135. And 33 times 20 is 660. And then if we sum these amounts up here, 10 plus 135 is 145. And 145 plus 660 is 805. So everything checks out here. So the teller has 10 ones, she has 27 fives, and she has 33 20s. Okay, a supermarket manager finds that he has $2,060 made up of 20 and $50 bills. He has a total of 58 bills. How much of each type of bill does he have? So this is a simple problem here. And basically, we're going to solve it kind of in the same way that we solved the first one, but it'll be a little faster. If we know he only has two types of bills, he has $20 bills and he has $50 bills. 
And the goal here is to find out how much of each type of bill does he have. Well, then we can just start off by just letting x and let x equal the number of $20 bills. So what are we going to have, how are we going to model the $50 bills? Well, if you read closely through this, it tells us that he has a total of 58 bills. So if he has 58 bills and X is the number of 20s that he has, then 58 minus X, right, 58 subtracting the number of $20 bills that you have, is going to tell you how many 50s you have. So then, so then 58 is the total number of bills minus X, which is the number of $20 bills, is going to be equal to the number of $50 bills. So that's simple enough. So now we've represented the number of $20 bills with X and the number of $50 bills with 58 minus X. So now all we have to do is just set up an equation. Now the key thing here is that we're told, again, the value of all the bills here, $2,060. So if we just take the value of all the $20 bills, which would be 20, the value of each bill, times X, the number of $20 bills, and we add that to the number of $50 bills, which is 58 minus X, times the value of each $50 bill, which is 50, this should sum to, again, this number here, 2060. So let's go ahead and solve this equation. We'll have 20x plus 50 times 58, that's 2,900, minus 50 times x equals 2,060. You're going to combine like terms here. We'll have negative 30x plus 2,900 equals 2,060. Then I'm going to subtract 2,900 from both sides of the equation. That's gone. So we'll have negative 30x is equal to negative 840. Okay, to get x by itself, we divide both sides of the equation by negative 30. And we end up with x equals 28. x equals 28. So again, we're not done because we have to go back up and make sense of this. We said that x equals the number of $20 bills. So then the manager has 28 $20 bills. And then how many 50s does he have? Well, he has 58 minus 28, that's 30. Okay, so that would be your answer. 28 $20 bills and 30 $50 bills. Because if you combine 28, the number of $20 bills, and 30, the number of $50 bills, you get 58. So the only thing you would really check here is to make sure that you did your, your arithmetic correct. Right, if you have 28 times 20, that's the value of your 20s, plus 30 times 50, that's the value of your 50s, it should equal 2,060 as it told us originally. So 28 times 20 is 560, 30 times 50 is 1,500, and that should equal 2,060. And if you sum this together, it does, right? You get 2,060 equals 2,060. So our answer here is correct. The manager has 28 $20 bills, and he has 30 $50 bills.